Welcome to this lesson on the Zero Touch Deployment Tool. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to Describe when should Zero Touch be used Describe the process of deploying with Zero Touch and use Zero Touch to perform a common use case deployment. The Zero Touch web portal allows administrators to manage the initial configurations of hundreds, even thousands, of small office and Gaia gateways with settings from the Zero Touch cloud service. These gateway settings include time zones, administrator passwords, network information, changing OS version, and C configuration. To retrieve inventory information about the user's account IDs and their purchased gateways, Zero Touch connects to the Checkpoint User Center. Ultimately, ZeroTouch enables rapid and mass deployment of settings to remote gateways, saving administrators valuable time. In general terms, deploying with ZeroTouch involves the following key steps from the perspective of the ZeroTouch administrator. Preparing the configuration, claiming the gateways to be deployed, and finally, monitoring the deployment progress. Let's look at the following scenario and see how its requirements can be accommodated. Jimmy, a network security administrator, would like to deploy 500 new checkpoint appliances at his company's offices, which are spread out globally. While the new appliances come installed with R80.30 out of the box, Jimmy would like to upgrade them to R80.40 and update them to the latest Jumbo hotfix. He would also like to define a DNS address for the new gateways as well as set up a mail server and a few other minor settings. To begin, Jimmy logs on to the Zero Touch portal using his user center's credentials. Next, he chooses on which of his user center's accounts he wishes to work on. Jimmy chooses to create a new Gaia gateway template and he proceeds to set it up as needed, naming it, defining it as under construction so that if an appliance connects to the account, it won't accidentally download the template before he's done configuring everything. Since the gateways are not part of a cluster, he leaves this checkbox unchecked. Now he goes ahead and chooses the product version to be deployed. In this case, R80.40 with the latest Jumbo hotfix. To achieve enhanced security against spoofing, the easiest option is to send an activation link for each gateway to be deployed. This way, the person on the gateway's end can ensure there is an alignment between the zero-touch deployment and the gateway. Note that while generating an identification key is mandatory, it will only be used as a security measure in case the validation method via activation leak fails. Next, he defines the administrator credentials so that the gateways can be connected to through SSH. And finally, for this section, he sets a SIC activation key for the gateways to be able to connect to the management server. Now he moves on to set up network elements for the gateways. He inputs the DNS address through which the gateways will receive DNS translation. Finally, he adds cliche scripts to accommodate the mail server through which the gateways will send mails and an inactivity timeout of SSH connection to the gateway. Once done, he applies the settings. Now, Jimmy goes to the Inventory tab to associate the relevant gateways to the previously created template. As we can see, the inventory consists of all checkpoint appliances associated with this specific account. Appliances listed as not claimed do not have a template associated with them. He chooses the relevant gateways and clicks Claim. This is where he associates the template. Once done, he goes back to the template and removes the Under Construction option. After applying the changes, the administrator on the gateway's end receives the activation link. Once the link is opened and deployment confirmed, and once the selected gateways are connected to the Internet, the template is fetched by the gateways 
and the defined deployment procedure takes effect. To view the progress and status of deployment, Jimmy switches to the Claimed Gateways tab. After the deployment process completes, Jimmy can connect the gateways to the management server via SEEK. And with that, our lesson comes to a close. In this short lesson, we discussed the essence of deploying with zero touch and the process of deploying with zero touch. You should now be able to perform a common deployment use case using zero touch. For further reference, please refer to the admin guide and to SK116375. Thank you for taking this lesson, and I will see you in the next one.